What you're looking at now is the SC30 booted into system 7.5.5. It has the Micron Exceed video card with the Exceed Grayscale adapter attached. And I'm making this video because this card seems to have a problem of a vertical line going down the screen from top to bottom whenever I change to multi-gray mode. Now I rebooted my computer using virtual video. Virtual video is basically virtual desktop. It gives me more space than I can physically fit in this 9 inch CRT screen. And we can see that it's working because if I take the mouse arrow cursor here and move it down, the screen automatically will scroll around like so. And I have it set up to be 1K by 1K. That's what you're seeing now. 1K by 1K. Now, I currently it's currently set colors black and white, which would be the same as gray is black and white. There is no vertical stripe when I have it on black and white, whether I have it set to colors uh, or grays. If I change to four colors, or actually four grays, no problems there. I don't see any ver ver vertical line. If I change to 16 though, you can see the vertical line. There it is. Now I can, when I scroll, the line scrolls with it. See? It goes all the way to the bottom, all the way to the top. Now if I change to 256, this is 256 grays, scrolling around, around. It's probably impossible for you to see, but it's very faint little vertical line right here. You might, you might almost think it's a ghost. But see, it's not a ghost because this line is here under the E and label. But if I change to 256, you saw it flash on, right? You saw it flash on right here? Very, very faint little vertical line under the I and edit. Go back to four colors. No vertical line. Go back to black and white. There's no vertical line. I can scroll around. The vertical line does not appear when I scroll. Change to four colors. Again, I'm scrolling around. No vertical line appears. 16. The vertical line appears and it scrolls in accordance with the screen. 256. It flashed on and then there's a little faint, like a, almost a ghost. You, I, even with my eyes, I can barely even see it. It's, it's right here under the eye. And yeah, it goes all the way down but it's not really so noticeable. Change the colors and you saw it flash on again, right? And actually you can see it uh, on top of my arrow cursor actually. If I can zoom in with the camera here for you so you can see it. See that? <clears throat> see that? You can see the line white dots right and you can see the little break here there it is so you see it and again this is um, I've got it set to 256 right now and it's most pronounced when I change to <clears throat> 16 and you can see the line very pronounced there and you can see even now a little bit of a, of a faint line here, but it's not under the eye, so again, I'm not sure what to make of it. There you go. You see it over, over the cursor here. If it's grays, it's more pronounced than colors, right? And then uh, 16, 16 grays versus 16 colors, so change the colors. Same location, but less pronounced. Change the grays, very high contrast noticeable line here 256 
you can see that the line it's a faint little line appearing under the eye uh, in edit so um, some people say it's a VRAM yeah that's fine but which VRAM? Um, there are a lot of chips on the board and the chips on eBay would cost a lot of money for me to replace more than $160 not including my time to desolder the other ones and then resolder on the new ones assuming I do it perfectly enough to you know make sure everything's working right no mistakes anyway I'll let you see uh, inside here the options that you can choose <clears throat> And it's showing that it's 1024 by 1020 is uh, the resolution of the internal screen, virtual desktop. And there's others that can be uh, selected, but basically virtual desktop. Um, if, if I were to choose, for example, 800 by 600, see it doesn't do anything. It, that would work on an external monitor so what is really uh, creating the virtual desktop is called virtual video virtual video is here I'll have to scroll a little bit and um, <clears throat> this lets you choose uh, the size that you would like And so there you have it. Any thoughts on the vertical line problem? Uh, you can see our discussion over at the 68K MLA forums. Uh, I honestly would like to pinpoint it down to a single chip if possible, swapping out only that chip rather than swapping out the other chips, because this is an old video card and I don't want to damage anything, nor do I want to spend more money than I have to to repair the card, but it is very rare. So I would like to repair it, uh, if at all possible. So thank you for watching the video, and I look forward to hearing from you uh, in the comments.